Good morning guys, how are we? I'm back out again, this is an early morning beach hunt Probably consists of about probably two and a half hours I've got less until the tide comes right in Right now it's just about here, so about two and a half hours it'll be right up to the wall So I'm at Rue Narrows and uh, I'm going to head towards the house today I'll just see if we can find any coins, i just got an 84 down the hole And there we go, I've got my first coin And that is a big penny What age it is, I don't know Possibly a Victorian penny, I think. But uh, I'll clean them up and I'll let you know in the roundup. Right, guys, just dug that strange item. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Uh, poss possibly a hot rock, but it just looks really funny. I don't know if it's just because it's came for the sea. I thought it was maybe far a meter or something. <laughs> That's a pretty cool find. Possibly just a hot rock, I don't really know if anybody knows. Let me know. Alright uh, guys, I'll get away from this hole yet. First signal was here, second was there, and then the third is here. Somewhere. Hold on, there's a coin in here somewhere. There we go. <clears throat> it's a half penny. Oh, I've no idea who it is, it's very crusted again. But it is another half penny. But, uh, there seems to be a wee bit just down there. Three signals in a row, two coins, and a possibly a hot rock out of it. So I'll just go in this area because there's obviously wee things I missed the last time we were here and uh, see if I can find any more coins. Just got another 84. I didn't realise this was the signal. I turned it around, it looks like part of a watch clog. Possibly off the watch that they find. Uh, that does look like the back winders to it. That's cool. Obviously part of an old pocket watch. I just dug that, got another 84 and it's another half penny. Oh, I've no idea who it is. I thought it was George III when I seen it. I'm now thinking it's a George V. I think it's a George V half penny. I'll clean it up for the round up and let you know. I just dug that. And that is another big penny. 84 it came up as. Possibly a big George V penny. Still stuff here, eh? Considering we absolutely battered this ferry pier And uh, what happened was it would have crossed the narrows just across here And I think it would have come in here And uh, people would have got off here Up a small jetty and out And uh, obviously that's been missed by the people uh, who have been metal detecting here They've obviously missed the big pier stumps There and there And there's a couple all the way down the beach just covered in uh, seaweed So obviously they've missed that And uh, well that's okay because I've found quite a lot of good things so I'll keep at it and I'll get back to you soon and do a wee round up. Just dug that, another 84 and another coin. Another half penny. Right, just dug that, an 83, 84. That's another big penny. I think it's a... Uh, oh! George V. That's another big George V penny. Right guys, just of that, I got an 84. And I'm wondering what that is, to be quite honest. I thought it was a shilling or a two shillings. No idea who it is, but I'll clean it up and let you know in the roundup. Just started rubbing that again. Possibly could be a bit of silver, but uh, I can't seem to get anything off it, so I'll clean it up when I get it home and I'll let you know if it is or not. Well, it's an 82, and it's a half penny. Ah, it's just a modern day two cents. Thought it was going to be an old half penny. Just got a 70 in the machine. Uh, oh, I think we've got a bit of silver. Oh, it's not, it's a modern day 10 beds. <laughs> I thought it was a bit of silver. That's cool, just a modern day 10 beds. Right, guys, I just dug that and that came up as a 54, and it's a big musket ball. Guys, I just dug that, I got a 54. Hey, oh, no idea what that is, part of a badge perhaps? Silver? I don't know. I'll get it cleaned up and let you know in the roundup. Good evening guys, how are we? Welcome to the roundup for this video. This was a short hunt at Rune Arrows. 
Uh, what should have been about two and a half hours turned into about an hour. <laughs> it was just the wind was absolutely pounding and uh, I found it really hard to kind of a walk. It was hard to film anything so it kind of really turned into a short hunt. So we've got a lot of modern day coins, pennies, ten pences, pennies, ten pences, twenty pences, two pences. And we moved on to a couple of, this is an old school ten pence. Modern day penny, uh, probably three decimal penny actually. A couple of half pennies, a couple of other pennies, and a Georgie Six Frappins. Uh, a nice musket ball. Watch clogs off the back of a watch. Possibly a Victorian watch. Uh, this one here strikes me as being funny. Uh, is it a hot rock? Or is it a party of meteorite? I don't know. Uh, it's always a bit of fun if any of you know, you know, leave the comments below and let me know what your thoughts are on it. What do you think it is? Hot Rock? Meteorite? Let me know. On the final thing was this, and it was something that Dave told me and I didn't realise uh, that they did this, that they used to make coins out of sixpences. Uh, they used to make things out of them. They used to make things out of sixpence coins and uh, apparently he thinks this might be a badge made from a sixpence. It's definitely silver, I've tested it, and uh, it's a lovely silver badge. Any ideas what it is? Let me know because I've no idea. But it was a cool little find on the foreshore, it's a first for me. Right guys, uh, I'm going to be doing a 100 coin hunt soon uh, at Helen's Pier. And uh, hopefully it will turn out some really good finds. And uh, until then... Good luck, happy hunting, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.